In Shetland we've got a really strong living tradition of fiddle music. Shetland fiddle evolved from an amalgam of kind of Scandinavian and Scottish influences, much like the place names and the language and the culture here generally. We have a collection of tunes that are specific to the islands. Tunes that describe wedding ceremonies, nature, mills in action, spinning wheels. We have several hundred traditional tunes and you find most of them are reels. And what people maybe don't know so well is the dance that goes with it, the Shetland reel. As a fiddler, I rarely get a chance to play the fiddle, the Shetland reels for the dance. It's really kind of rarely done nowadays, certainly at formal dances. So, sitting having a tune one night, speaking with a few friends, and I thought, It'd be worth going out around the islands, see where it's still being danced, and try out some of the Shetland reels for it. The main thing in honestly, I suppose, was the back step, but there were, there were other steps I can mind too. I don't know if they had names at all, but they were arranged to step it out to the side, and especially the women folk. They are pretty variation for the back step, I suppose it was a pretty rest. There's a lot of energy to do the Shetland Reel. Oh yeah, well, they had to be young and fat. It's a bit of a job now, Morris, when you get to my age. <laughs> And would you dance that? The main street on the real mare and the house are standing. Yes, uh -huh. but then you did the same with Hall, and they had the chance of a wedding or anything. And would you have like several sets? I think we had eight sets right down the hall. Every single one of that fuck was on step. Utterly amazing. But of course, long ago, weddings like my grand fuck with 1890 was up at, well, it was up at the Wasting, and the reception was just at the main room. So when they danced the Shetland Reel, they just say one set, three couples gone. And they said the way they did it, the men could tear around, of course young men, they could tear around and keep going, but the women would get tired out and then they'd build that and go on and pack up another and just carry on the same dance as long as they could. They did just for ages. And of course the fiddler, he had to keep going as long as they were dancers. He couldn't stop. <laughs> no, that's a, that would be a long night, a, a, a real start. Yeah, yeah. It's just the old way. I think they was doing good, so they were able to show the step. Okay, and that's a good thing, be able to hand that on. Oh yeah, oh, it's interesting. There are different steps, of course, in different places. And walls, as they well know, they have to literally shuffle there. Different ones and scary stone. It's early on a Sunday morning and I decided to take a trip up the Skerries and it's a small group of islands off the Shetland mainland and uh, it's about an hour and a half on the ferry out there. No! We've kind of uh, missed the ferry. Yep, yeah, it's 10 o'clock and uh, it's now five past ten. But there's a fellow here with a rib that's heading there just now, so we're going to hitch a lift and then hopefully get the ferry back later on. See how this goes. <laughs> you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Still got time to change your mind. It's one of our most remote island communities. How many folk live there now? But There's probably only about 30 there at the moment. And they have a strong tradition of the Shetland Reel, which they've kept going. Ah, that's great. Made it ashore. Thanks very much for that. <laughs> oh, that's great. And I peeped up the window and, the, and I saw the fiddle chase going by the window, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
every dance that we see or always sitting on rail. Sorter's joy was a great one. My Uncle Charlie. That was his favourite dance, it was really the only dance in the day. He was always the first thing now on the floor. When he was dancing, his hands would go air and the stump would stick up as far as it could stick up. He got mangled up on a generator. Yeah. His air was that damaged that they, they took it off. But that didn't stop him dancing. And because of him, we would hit two or three times our night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was deep into that. But Charlie's, that family I danced with, my mother was one of them. And, and when I was about young high, I learned to dance the Shetland Rail, and I always had to go with my mother. When you grow up a bit, then you start picking certain lasses to dance with, and things like that. In my age group, we all enjoyed dancing. And we used to dance at the, like the school was in the, the kirk. This is where we were educated. Yes, yes. There was a partition at Hall the Cross, at the front of pews, and then we would set up the desks on Monday morning. Instead the playing, we would dance. Just to pack conquer the outside, quite the reels and all without music. We always reeled first, and then you danced. Well, I suppose we danced longer, yeah. We danced what we called double time. That's what we called it. Double time. When the floor was full, if we went in the hall to Edda, the floor was going up and down. Really, the floor was going up and down. But yeah, we, we just all danced. Like. If there was a gathery of scarish folk out at something, then we usually want to play a certain trade. We thought for we all over Shetland coming here, so it was an afternoon, a good go on rails. I'm sure there's a lot of folk maybe worried, certainly younger, it's never danced the Shetland rail and to yeah. be able to be exposed to it and... Get the feet stamping and the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just being the first few bars, you, you kind of just lighten up. You couldn't have kept your uh, eyes off their feet. And you started to adapt your playing to how they were dancing. I think it was a yell set, and we suddenly started playing a something like Miss Spencey's Reel. Yeah. And the second part of that one, with the dancing steps, I think it just nearly put us all through the roof. <laughs> it you. was brilliant, and it just makes you think there's a reason for that tunes being there, and it is, of course, totally connected with the dance. I think one of the great things, Morris, is, is that what tradition is actually really well documented. Yeah, the tunes are well documented and also folk were interested in the dancing and recognised the, the Shetland Reel in particular. You have Flett that uh, wrote about it and went around a lot of areas in the mainland and Walsa. I uh, uh, Maria Lisk who worked with the Shetland folk dance and James Erickson and uh, Balfour. And they went and spoke to a lot of old folk, they've been in the 90s and managed to get some of that variety of steps and I think they've done a great job. Peter Cook did some nice footage as well. He did. Um, That is just gold, it really is. Dancer's gold, because it's quite hard to write and describe in writing. Yeah. It's like trying to write about music. It's like you kind of... Seeing and yeah, hearing it. Yes, seeing and hearing it is what it's at. Wally Bartley, yes, and Bobby Chimson. They played the Brides Reel at Wormady. Could you describe the, the dance itself? I think when we married, I come in with a married man. The groom come in with a bridesmaid and the married wife came in with the best man. And then the main changed positions, very discreetly, at the end of the reel. So we did four turnings, and then you were back beside your, your man, and the brides made the best man together, and the married folk together. That's how that was done. Yeah, that was quite clever. Uh, it was. Her daughter-in-law, she wanted to dance to Shetland Reel at her wedding. Uh -huh. And she said she was wanting Angus to play.
The other old tune is right good. The, the timing of the nuts fitting into the step was good. Gordon and I danced, and I danced. My grandfather and Uncle Wally, they were practicing to go shoot. Yeah. Old fiddlers going to converse ah, yeah. in 1970. Good fun of them there. Some of the old fiddlers in various areas mention about for the floor, they would start kind of singing maybe a tune that they want to hear, so that there was a bit of interaction back to the fiddlers. Oh my goodness, that night they had was fairly going with it. They were just, you'll hear to play up and you'll hear to play it fast. And they would sometimes roar for a double time kind of length. Although it's kind of an A part and a B part, that's the kind of default, but in yeah. various areas they might want to stretch that out. This dance is fairly simple, but you can do that. And that is, for a fiddle player, is great. Freedom to put stuff into it. I've been around a few of the communities and taken the fiddle. It's quite heartening to see the folk come out, some of them in their 80s. It obviously shows how they value the dance themselves and it's important that it's kind of continues and is passed on. My special request, I should come through. It would be lovely just to kind of keep it all going so that all that strands are there in the tradition. The modern stuff that's keeping was heading forward, but no forgetting about that really rich um, tradition that it's all based on. Mm -hmm.